welcome back to this new video tutorial today i am going to show you how you can create stuck in out and balance tracking sheet or the inventory management sheet in google sheets as you can see in the screen i have already created this stuck in out and balance tracker first of all let me quickly demonstrate how does this system work then i'll guide you through the step by step process of making this in the stuck in and stuck out section i have three columns date item name and quantity as I keep on filling the records of stock in and out, the stock balance will automatically calculate. For example, here in this stock in section, let me add here a new purchase or stock in transaction. For that, I can double click on this cell to pick up the date. Let me select this 12th of March and in the item name, I'll select washing machine and in the quantity, let me put here 12 units. When I enter 12 unit here, look at the stock balance the 12 unit will be updated let me press enter and here you see the stock balance of washing machine is given as 12 unit because there is no any sales transaction of washing machine 8 if i add here a sales transaction for washing machine let me add here a sales transaction let me put the quantity of 4 unit now here you see the stock balance of washing machine is given as 8 unit because the total purchase is 12 units total sales is 4 unit and the balance is 8 unit if i add here a new transaction of sales for the item washing machine and let's say the quantity is 1 unit now here you see the balance is auto updated which is now 7 unit now let's start learning how we create this in google okay. sheets First of all, create here a new sheet. Let me rename this sheet as Inventory Management. And here in the A1 cell, write the title that is Stock In, Out, and Balance or the Inventory Management. In the A3 cell, write Stock In. In the D3 cell, write here Stock Out and in the g3 cell right here stock balance below stock in right here date item name and quantity you can simply copy this control c and control v for the stock out and for the stock balance it will be item name and quantity only now select these three cells and merge and center them by going here in the merge all then center alignment do the same for stock out and for the stock balance also select two cells then merge and center now apply background color for stock in let's take here blue color for stock out let me take this red color and for the stock balance let's take green color now increase the column width for the item name select the column headers and till the row number 16 for example but you can increase the row number according to the requirement after selecting go to this border tool select a color for border let me select this color then click on the all borders now the border is applied after this we have to display the calendar in the date column to easily pick up the date for that select this range go to data tab data validation click on add rule and here in the criteria select this is valid date option then click on the done button close this data validation rules dialog box now when you double click on the cell the calendar is given you can now pick up the date by simply clicking on a date now to enable the date picker calendar here in the date column of stock out you can simply copy this cell so right click and copy select the date range of the stock out right click on the mouse go to paste special option then click on data validation only now if you double click on the cell the calendar will pop up from which you can choose the date after doing this here in the stock balance sections item name column list out all the products or the inventory items for example here i am putting some electronic products after listing out the items here then you have to create the drop down selection menu to select the item here in the item name column of stuck in and stuck out section for that 
select this item name column of stock in click on data tab data validation click on add rule then here in this drop down select this drop down from or range option click on this box then select the item names of the stock balance section and while selecting take some more row because when new items will be added here it will reflect here in the drop down so i have taken here from g5 to g16 you can increase this if you think that your item list will grow more now click on ok click on the done button now here you see in the item name column of the stock in the product selection drop down is given now you can simply copy this drop down and paste it here in the stock out section click on this cell control c to copy this now select the range of item name in the stock out then press control v to paste and here you see the item selection drop down is created now close this data validation rules now here in the quantity column of stock balance you have to use the formula to dynamically calculate the balance stock for that let me put here some transactions first now to calculate the stock balance here we have to use the sum if function so press equal to type sum if function open bracket in the range parameter select this item name range of the stock in section then lock this range by pressing the f4 key in the keyboard which will apply the dollar symbols before the column name and row number now put a comma in the criterion click on this first item of the stock balance section then put a comma in the sum range select the quantity range of the stock in section then lock this range by pressing the f4 key in the keyboard then close the sum if function now we have to subtract the stock out for that put here the minus symbol then use another sum if function open bracket in the range select this item name range of the stock out section then lock this range by pressing the f4 key put a comma in the criterion click on the first item name of the stock balance put a comma and in the sum range select the quantity range of stock out section then lock it by pressing f4 key now close bracket and press enter formula autofill is suggested simply click on this tick mark and here you see the formula is applied till the last product when you add more items here you can simply drag and fill the formula down now here you see the stock balance for heater is calculated as 18 unit because total purchase is 24 unit and total sales is 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 when we subtract 6 from 24 then the result is 18 if you add here a new sales transaction for heater for example let me put here three units when you press enter here you see it is reduced to 15 units so in this way the stock balance will dynamically calculate now you have to lock this heading part because when the transaction grows in future then you have to scroll down in that case the heading parts also becomes invisible for that click on this date cell then go to view tab click on the freeze option then click on this up to row number 4 option now the heading part will remain constant if you scroll down here you see the heading part remains constant so this is all about the process of creating this simple and dynamic stock in out and balance tracker in google sheets if you like this video please give it a thumbs up by hitting on that like button if you are visiting this channel for the first time consider subscribing the channel to get similar video updates in future thank you so much for watching see you in next video